Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Most of us monster kids used to, you know, we, we loved Frankenstein, we loved Dracula, we loved Wolfman, but the mummy often was a little bit of a sticking point because us kids used to say to each other, well, you know, I mean, he, doesn't, he just moves really slow, you know? I mean, he's, he's always limping, and, and he, anybody could run away from the mummy. But the interesting thing was, nobody ever did. He always got his victim. So I guess the appeal of that allowed them to make uh, succeeding mummy movies, and this is the second of the Universal mummy movies, uh, the beginning of a, of a start of a new franchise, The Mummy's Hand. Unlike Frankenstein and Dracula, The Mummy produced no sequels during the 1930s, but eight years after its release, Universal went back to the tomb for what we would now call a reimagining, combining its mummy wrappings with the kind of grade B action programmers that the studio specialized in. The result was The Mummy's Hand starring a new mummy, Karis, who, unlike the Karloff original, spends the whole movie lumbering around in bandages. And he comes with his own lore, kept alive by a brew made from tana leaves. Under no circumstances must he be fed more than nine. He is loosed by vengeful high priest George Zucco on the infidel explorer heroes who defile the ancient dead of Egypt. Plenty of flashbacks from the original movie fill out the backstory. Karis was buried alive, for trying to use Tana leaves to resurrect his dead lover, Princess Ananka. And Karloff is occasionally plainly visible, although new close-ups are of cowboy star Tom Tyler, who is the new mummy. If you were to kill me, you're leaving at large a monster that only I can control. It's actually a lot of fun and looks more expensive than it is, thanks to a fabulous leftover set from James Whale's Green Hell. The cast is game and prolific director Christy Cabani keeps it all moving swiftly enough to engage the kid audience it was aimed at. Three even more economical mummy movies followed, all set in the United States, as portrayed by the versatile Universal Backlot, and featuring Lon Chaney beneath the wrappings. Yeah.